Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Timo here and today we're going to talk about the top five best winter side hustles that you've never heard of. Or maybe you have, but I know for a fact that there's one you haven't heard of. So imagine this. Sun is out. The air is warm. Business is good. Money is rolling on in. Bills are paid. And then... It's as if somebody like hit a switch and then the cold front rolls in, phone stops ringing or the calls are few and far between and it begins. The mad dash and the panic starts settling in like what am I gonna do for the winter time? How am I gonna stay busy? Because if you're like me, you're probably a service industry person. I am a paint contractor. I do solar panel cleaning as well as some pressure washing and different things outside. But most of the business revolves around being outside. So for landscapers, roofers, window washers alike, lucky for you, you found this video before it's too late because we're gonna go over the five best winter side hustle no one else has heard of. The number one, which is a pretty obvious one, but I know not everybody thinks about it or has even heard about it, but it's holiday window painting. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, I'm not an artist, but you don't really have to be an artist to do something like this. This, the stuff is really simple kind of um, you know one level up above stick figures and I think even if you weren't that great you could get some tools some templates together and you could put together some pretty simple window dressings right maybe you can just figure out how to do lettering but this will work I see this everywhere in my neighborhood and I'm interested to try it myself and I'm pretty sure that you can make some money I saw one guy on YouTube charging about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a storefront with pretty basic little package like a snowman some pine trees some candy canes and some snowflakes, all really simple. Not to mention the tools that he's, the tools and materials cost them maybe around 10 to $15. I think this is a great side hustle. Even if you're not artistically gifted, you could still get away with drawing some candy canes. I mean, even if you tried your best, I guarantee you could probably draw a decent pumpkin for Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is coming up at the time of me recording this video. So one con to the window think cleaning is you gotta keep in mind you have to go back and clean it. But I think if you start around the early October, you can get in a, a Halloween scene, a Thanksgiving scene, a Christmas scene, a New Year's scene, and even like a Valentine's Day scene. And then of course, St. Patrick's. So really, this is something that you could do as some side hustle money all the way from October to March. And then even 4th of July. I mean, I just, the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm thinking about it. So that's number one, holiday window painting. I've heard it called window splashes as well. So second side hustle I anticipate would be really good for the landscapers. It's snow removal. It takes minimal tools and you can always scale it up. Now there's two ways that I've noticed that you could price for this. You could either do it by a seasonal contract or per driveway. Now I would see anywhere from 50 to $75 per driveway, anything over like two to four inches. Or if you get them on a contract, you can set up your trigger point a little lower than that, say one and a half inches. So every time there's snowfall about an inch and a half, they will come out and clear the driveway. At that point, it should only take you a few minutes. And if you could sell say 30 contracts for a season, at a thousand bucks a piece, that's pretty good money for three months. So that'll keep you afloat. Cool thing about the snow removal tools, there are some upsell opportunities. You could offer to de-ice the area and there's also scalable opportunities, meaning you don't always have to just use a snow shovel. That's a good way to get started out when you're very first beginning and you're not trying to invest a lot of money. But then you can move up to a snow thrower. It's a machine that kind of pushes the snow out to the side. And then of course you can upgrade even further to a snow blower and or a snow plow. That's number two on the list. The next side hustle is something I'm sure most of you have thought about but aren't really sure how to price. But I'm gonna go over what I've learned doing some research on this side hustle. Number three is Christmas lights install. So residentially, for a single story home, you could charge anywhere from $150 to $300, potentially even $500 if you supply a bigger package. Now, you could charge $150 for a single story by just adding in Christmas lights on the roof line and the drip edge. You could always upsell them as well as doing the bushes or even do inflatable stuff in the yard. A different way to price is also, you could keep your prices lower by offering to hang up the customers lights and then you could charge them service charges to come back throughout the months that they are up like say a light bulb goes out you charge them anywhere from 50 to 60 dollars to come out and fix the light if they pay you to use your lights and you're basically renting the lights out to them that's included any maintenance you just guarantee that they'll always be on Different strategies in pricing are pricing per bulb, anywhere from 30 to 60 cents per bulb, as high as 75 cents. I've also seen people price them by the strand, by the 100 foot strand, and they charge about $50 a strand. I've also seen people charge by the foot, and it comes out to about $5 a foot. Now keep in mind, anytime you're doing a two story, obviously it's gonna go up, but that's number three on the list. Christmas lights, scalable opportunities, and upsell opportunities with the inflatable stuff and the nets on the bushes. Next side hustles, number four, something I'm sure, again, some of you have heard of, but not maybe everyone thinks of, is firewood hustle. Now, if you got access to like dead trees and, and free wood, 
this is an excellent hustle for you. And even if you have to buy the wood in bulk, split it and package it, it still can be a very lucrative side hustle. Now this one's pretty self-explanatory. You get the wood, you charge about 60 bucks a load and a good fair price for 60 bucks a load will be the back of a full size truck, just up to the top of the bed, not up above the cab, but just to the top of bed, $60 a load. Or you could even go as far as packaging them up, packaging them up and putting a little label on it and delivering them little bundles and you can sell the bundles for ten dollars a piece five dollars a piece that's up to you but this is a great side hustle to get you through the winter months especially the colder months and it's something that lasts a little longer than one month because certain areas start getting cold earlier in the year some people don't want to deal with the hassle of getting it and then you have to deliver it and you could stack it that's another upsell or you could drop it off in the driveway but this is a side hustle that i've done in the past and it can be very lucrative definitely hard work but very lucrative now the fifth and final one, I found this one so interesting and it's something that I'm interested in trying because I've attempted to do this in the past but failed miserably and I've uh, never went back to it. But since doing this video now, I'm considering re revisiting the idea. And now shrink wrapping. My particular idea was shrink wrapping patio furniture. Patio furniture can be extremely expensive as outdoor smokers and outdoor kitchens, built-in kitchens. In my area, it's pretty popular to have an outdoor kitchen built in with like a sink and a refrigerator some cabinets and a little barbecue or a flat griddle iron on there pretty common out by the pool i live in california so there's a lot of outdoor kitchens out here and that's something that you could go ahead and put on the list but a lot of people need their boats winterized for the for the winter and there's a plastic you use six to ten mil plastic and it's a shrink wrap plastic not only would you wrap boats but you could wrap rvs campers and of course patio furniture I think this is a great side hustle because you because patio furniture is expensive, meaning your prices can be pretty high and it's not very labor intensive. I think the margins between the material and the gas needed to run the propane gun are pretty big. So I think there's a lot of room to make money. And I thought this was the most unique side hustle out of the whole entire list. So I may have clickbaited some of you a little bit with the title. So I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comment section if you do any of these hustles and or if you've actually never heard if i even gave you one that you haven't heard of let me know in the comment section <laughs> if you made it this far in the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me it really helps me out and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to see more videos like this and if you're thinking about starting any one of those side hustles but you need help getting more leads click that top link in the description it'll take you to my facebook marketing strategy that i still use to this day every time i start a new side hustle Thanks for watching the top five side hustles that you've never heard of, or maybe you have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.